Over the weekend, two Nigerians, according to reports, dented, well, I would, well, dented the image of our dear country. Former Nigerian footballer Samson Siasia was banned from football for life by FIFA due to bribery. Also, Obiwane Okeke, also known as Invictus Obi, was arrested by FBI for committing internet fraud. Hmm. In June 2016, Invictus appeared on the cover of Forbes Africa, who named him one of the 30 Africans who may be future billionaires. A lot of Nigerian youth have taken to the social media to share their thoughts on this. What are your own thoughts on this? With Obi, I was <coughs> pained because I actually read his story when he broke in, in, um, uh, in Forbes oh. and when the BBC carried the story and all of this. And I felt inspired by him. I mm. felt challenged that this young man Oh my goodness, in this country we are complaining, people are doing stuff, man. And I was motivating myself to go and fight. And so when I now heard this, I felt bad that once again you have you've taken off that that, that image, that role model in picture that we are all in Nigeria aspiring for. The young people are saying that if this man can do it, I can do it too. You've taken away that opportunity for us to hope that legitimacy can make money. Because what he has preached so far is that he used this smart, he used this hard work, mm. he used this connection and rallied support from people and he was able to aside build from, talk about, aside an from empire. Forms. His man mm -hmm. has lectured at the London School of Economics. Yes. So Ted he talks. has done TED Talks. Hey. And he's been on BBC several times. Hey. So this is not just one roadside boy. Mm. This is <gasps> Invictus <gasps> Obi. I, I, am, I, yes, am, I am very, very afraid for our children and the future of the country, honestly. Because we sit here and we preach hard work. We sit here and we preach wait for your time. <laughs> and the people that we think waited for their that time. waited for their time and got it legitimately, you now hear that they were not waiting for their time. Oh. While they were preaching, they were hard work, corners. they were cutting corners. It's annoying, it's terrible. But actually, you know something that came across to me yesterday while I was at the event? There was a man in his 60s. He was talking about the fact that hard work, he's a man of integrity, <laughs> you know, he has character, the fact that he just was recently appointed because his integrity spoke to him. Mm. So it spoke for him. And I asked him a question. I said, how many houses do you have? He said, one. How many cars do you have? He said, one, two, maybe just three normal cars. I said, do you have a yacht? He said, no. He said, why are you asking? I said, because the, Ni the Nigerian youth that are watching you right now, they're not inspired. At all. All your name, your man of integrity. Keep on You have one house. Hey, you have no that's yacht. Where, you that's have, where so you have not inspired. To you, you've said something that carries weight. But to them, until you, you've not started. Let me, let me tell you something. We need to redefine what success is to us. Hmm. Exactly. I listened to Professor Hussein when he was appointed VC to Lasso give a speech about himself. I felt inspired by his mother, mm. Yolole. The mother was known on Lagos Island for selling moi moi. Mm. She was a successful woman. In her small means, she raised a, bo a boy who came out first class studying aeronautic engineering or something. A very complex kind of science mm. abroad. Mm. He went for his master's, first distinction. Mm. He went for his PhD, distinction. That is success for women. We've redefined it now. You're talking about a man who who considers himself successful and a man of integrity, mm. and he wasn't inspiring to the people. Mm, because material else. things are not success. Mm. Hey. We miss it. You see, the packaging mm. has taken over so much. It's so bad, it's, it's painful. If I cannot present you life, the glamour, the shine, shine, or the bling things, you look at me and you think I'm not successful. As I'm sitting here, mm. I consider myself successful in a lot of ways because right. I wake up every single morning. I have things to thank God for. Yeah, let me, uh, there's a quote I saw, there's a writer that I would, I would like to read because I feel that what, what got me upset about this Invictus Obi story is the fact that the comments, suddenly Nigerians are now, uh, not, they're now not saying, longer, uh, they're now pointing fingers, not oh, caught. him, them. Mm -hmm. And when I read this article by a man called El Nathan, he said Nigerians are acting like the man caught by FBI is a criminal with distinction, when in fact, he's the image of the Nigerian hustle. Nigerian hustle. Obi is Nigeria, and Nigeria is Obi. Nigeria is the perfect breeding ground for this. There is no social consequence for crime. Hmm. The only thing that brings shame in Nigeria is poverty. Ew. Not rape, not fraud, yes. not theft, yes. not murder, yes. not corruption. As sad poverty. as it is, I agree. Um, so I, 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 Mariah, as sad as it is, I the, agree. The,